Automation is definitely mission critical for us. There is a difference of how different people see it. So our business doesn't talk about automation that much because they talk about their own outcomes and they see our projects as an investment into that outcome. But on the IT side, the entire developers, infrastructure operation teams, they see automation as absolutely mission critical to get to those outcomes. So the, I think the mapping of actual outcomes with the projects help us turn it from something that we were just doing into something that's really mission critical and has outcomes visible by, by our business. We discovered some time ago that 73% of our incidents were caused by human error. <laughs> so we went straight for that. And uh, the logic was, we will take our 20 years of historical data, we will get the uh, LLM running and uh, the operator would basically be able to say, these are the symptoms, what is the most likely uh, root cause of the incident? Uh, but the outcome was not really as we hoped for. We had we got the accuracy of like 3%. When we started analyzing what was going wrong, it was because so much of the stuff was not automated. It was just uh, there and every incident was solved in a different way. So the AI was hallucinating. It gave us the most probable manual implementation that had nothing to do with reality. So then we started heavily automating and we discovered basically that without automation on the bottom, the AI, it will give you the context, but the context will be wrong. <laughs> so you basically need to do the automation. It's core for, a for AI to even work. The security and reliability, so auto remediations, implementations of uh, different security enforcements, mm -hmm. and the day two operations where we would like basically patch something or change something in the entire environment globally when there is vulnerability or where there is a change that's been detected by a security department or something that is uh, any kind of risk basically that that we need to mitigate in a in a way we prefer doing automation for that. That's we have a lot of use cases on that. Policies code is strategic for us. Uh, that's something that we implemented, we tried to implement ourselves. And when we heard the Red Hat team was working, Ansible team was working on that, we were so happy. We just stopped everything and we're waiting to work together on that. For example, uh, we had a few incidents that a developer in Brazil tries deploying something with the sensitive data and the environment gets compromised. And when we discover that, we have to manually go and disconnect VPNs, assess the damage. So based on the attributes of that environment, we need something that can directly in the code disconnect that environment from anything else. So for use cases like that, policies code is absolutely essential. 